I think we can all agree that summer is not the easiest time to dress modestly. Whether you're wondering how you can dress modest but also stylish, or you're struggling to know what swimsuits to wear and where to draw the line, or you just don't know how to dress for your workouts without showing too much skin, I've got you covered. It's so bright. In this video, I'm going to help you dress modestly for summer so that we can go into this season with confidence, dress like Proverbs 31 would be proud, and wear stylish and modest outfits so we can slay this summer as a Christian girly. Hello, my name is Ashley and welcome back to my channel. Y'all loved my modesty video that I did a couple months back where I show you how to dress modest but fashionable. And that was recorded in the winter time where it is arguably easier to wear more layers and show less skin. In the summer months, especially in our culture, it can be the easiest thing in the world to follow what everyone else is doing and wear skin tight dresses, revealing crop tops and swimsuit, and try to get attention from all the wrong places. I have my own journey with modesty. And believe it or not, I was not always a modest girly. I was not raised in the church. I didn't grow up as a Christian. So I didn't really care or think twice about wearing revealing clothes. And sometimes I would buy clothes because I knew that I was going to get attention. I also loved following trends, even if the trends were revealing. And I didn't mind the attention that I was getting from it. But then when I became a Christian and I started to hear about dressing modestly, I didn't really know what that meant. And my first reaction was, does this mean that I can't wear cute outfits? anymore? Does this mean I'm gonna have to wear boring and ugly outfits to please God? I still love fashion and following all the trends, but I wanted to learn how to do that in a way that honored God. Over the years, God has taught me how to dress stylish and modest and also in a way that honors God and gets the right attention. I love how in Proverbs 31, it describes a woman of God as someone who wears fine linens. This showed me that I can dress well and that effort honors God. So this summer, I want to dress in a way that is stylish and modest. I'm going for the holy girl aesthetic and I want to help you do that too. To make sure we stay focused on what we need for our holy girl look this summer, we need to gather some inspo. To do so, I just went on Pinterest and pinned a bunch of inspiration. I looked at Sophia Ritchie, Matilda Jurf, Stockholm style, Euro street style. I'm still inspired for my trip to Europe. I recommend starting a Pinterest board and just start pinning away so you can stay focused on the modest but fashionable look you want to achieve this summer. Good morning everyone, it is the next day and today we're going to do step two of this video and do a closet cleanup. I'm gonna go through all my old clothes in my BC era, which was really my before Christ, and get rid of all the clothes that I would not wear in front of Jesus. AKA clothes that are too small, too tight, and just not giving the holy girl aesthetic that we're going for. Now that I have my closet cleaned out, it is time to go shopping. I was able to look at the holes in my closet that I needed to fill to see what I actually need to get to build the wardrobe that I need this summer. I'm actually going to make a list in my phone of all the holes I wanna fill and everything I want to get so I don't overspend and I stay focused.
So friends, we have finally gotten to the point of the video where I'm gonna show you some Holy Girl Summer outfits that you can easily pair together this summer. With these outfits, I'm mainly focusing on basics, but there's a few trendy pieces in here as well. So without further ado, let's get into the fits. First look is an easy, simple look for summer. A long black skirt is a no-brainer. It's also paired with a white tank. I got this one from Jerf Avenue. And this blue shirt from Princess Polly is used as a simple cover-up to make this look as elegant and classic as possible. Okay, next look is super classy, super chic. All white is a thing this summer. And I love wearing a white tank and these cream colored jeans. Okay, this is more of a business professional vibe, but these shirt vests are so in right now. This one is from my newly order. I love pairing a white vest with medium wash jeans. You can also trade these for white trousers. This next look is giving Kim Possible. I love it. It's a sleigh. I've been seeing people pair black tops with green pants, so we decided to do it here. This is a simple look you could basically wear hanging out with friends, running errands, or just chilling on a summer day. Also, these sunglasses, so shoot. <laughs> This next look is all white, again. <laughs> we are doing a long white skirt with a white top. I've been seeing this look all over my Pinterest board and it's safe to say I'm obsessed. Also this green bag from Princess Polly, say less. This next look is including a piece that is everywhere right now, tube tops. Tube tops are all the rage and I got this one from Princess Polly. Jerk Avenue also has some really good options. What are we gonna do to make this more modest? We are gonna pair it with a white cover up shirt. Yeah, we are. As well as a long jean skirt. This one is from Mango. Can you tell how much I love long skirts this summer? And the next look is all white again. Are we surprised? This white shirt is from Art Du Basic. I got it in Paris, which is such a vibe. And I got these pants from Aritzia. This is a classic look you could wear to church, on a date, shopping. I love this butterfly hair clip too from Princess Polly, and you could put this on your bag or in your hair. I was getting a lot of questions about modest workout sets and bathing suits, so here are some suggestions. I prefer more coverage swimwear and workout sets like these. Hi guys, so I was on my way to my workout and I was thinking this would be a perfect time to talk about modest workout sets and modest swimwear. Y'all ask me often, you're like, Ash, please talk about modest workout sets and how to dress modest for the gym and also like where do you draw the line with swimwear? And I'm never gonna like tell you what to wear and what not to wear. Like, I just don't wanna say do this, don't do that. But I will say what I'm gonna do and you can either follow me and what I'm doing or you know, whatever. My version of wearing modest workout sets is I'm not gonna wear tops that are like showing all my cleavage and just like my boobs are out. I'm not gonna show that. I'm not gonna show that to the gym. And I'm gonna wear shorts that are covering my butt. And if I'm wearing leggings, like I don't really have a big butt, but so like, I don't think there's much to see. However, wearing my sweatshirt tied around my waist when I'm at the gym, that is a mood. So I don't like attract the wrong attention, but I really like what I'm wearing right now because it, it covers, if you guys can see, it like is a crop, but it's a long crop. So it covers my torso and then my shorts are long. So praise God, we have that. But I definitely wanna make sure that I'm not just like showing all of my body at the gym because I just don't think that that's super wise and it's gonna cause some people to stumble. And yeah, I also don't feel comfortable when I wear nothing at the gym. It's not comfortable to wear nothing. I don't really feel good wearing that. That's just my preference. When it comes to swimwear, I know like it's super common to have bottoms that are not covering anything and tops again are just like showing everything and I know I'm not going to do that this summer. This summer I want to go for more coverage. I want to go for bottoms that cover my whole bum. Tops that are not super revealing that are just classy and are kind of like a fashion statement. Not so much like I want guys to look at me and think that you know how good I look. Like obviously I want to look good at the pool but I want to look good in a sense where I, I feel like a queen. Like I'm wearing a 
swimsuit that is fashionable, that is classy, that is elegant, that looks really, really good versus wearing swimwear where I'm like, how can I get attention from guys? I want you guys to think when you're wearing stuff, am I wearing this to get attention or am I wearing this because like, I think it's going to look good and honor God. Really consider that because if I'm ever wearing something with the intention of getting attention, I probably shouldn't be wearing it versus wearing something that I know I feel confident in. You want to be attractive. You don't want to be someone who's just like, you're wearing nothing and you're just like, look at me. I want to err on the side of being attractive versus the other side. So that's my take on modest workout sets and swimwear. Hopefully that helps. If you're looking for some good places to shop at, I'll list some of my favorite stores. You can look at this list anytime you're wondering where to shop for modest but fashionable items. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this video. I hope this helped you dress modest for summer, but also fashionable, and gave you some ideas for some modest summer outfits this year. I'm super excited to wear some of these looks this summer and slay the season. If you're not following my Instagram, make sure you do so. I will be posting more modest summer outfits on there. If you watched all the way to the end of this video, make sure you comment this emoji, turn on push notifications, give this video a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Mwah!